Hi, in this video I'm going to continue building the computer store lecture um, that I started earlier. I currently have a simple project that's got two pages. It's the default ASP MVC page that has a index page and a privacy page. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to add two pages to this project. I'm also going to modify my menu bar so that you can see how this layout page works. Alright, so starting I'm on the layout page. I added this in the last video just to prove the layout page change every CSHTML page you have. I'm going to get rid of that because I really don't need it. So I'm going to add page. Do so I'm going to come over here to the views section. Now notice I've got two folders, home and shared. These become routes. This shared folder is kind of hidden. It's used by all the other pages. But home is a route or a folder. You can have multiple of these and they just simply become useful up here. So if you notice I've got like ASP controller home. That's going to tell ASP when I click on this link to go to this folder and find this page. Um, I'll point that out a little bit better as we move on. So I'm going to create two pages. Right click, add a view. I'm going to pick a raise view. I'm going to give it a name. Call it some desktops. Uh, I'm going to leave it empty for now. Um, this use a layout page. Um, it automatically defaults to layout. It says here you leave empty if it's set in a view start file. Our view start file has the layout page set there, and I'll prove that to you in a moment. So I'm going to add a page. Take some minutes. If you're wondering why my menu bars and my um, toolbars look a little weird, it's because I got my font kicked up a little so you guys can read this. Scaffolding is the process of Visual Studio building the project and all the code behind it that it needs. So we see I've got desktops here and the word desktops. View data is it's um, a way to pass information back and forth between these pages. It's essentially it's an array it's an index array or a map. A map is a better definition of this. So to find the title information here and put desktops in it. This view data title is used over here in this layouts right up on the title page. So that view data is passed from that desktops page to here and whatever is in that variable on that page will appear there. View start, as I said, has the layout set to be layouts. All right, so I'm gonna add another page. I'm gonna call this desk or laptops. If you pick empty, the world doesn't come to end. You just got to do a little more work. So I'm going to call this laptops. I'm leave everything alone. I'm going to add. It'll chug again. It should be a little quicker this time. And once it's done, I'm going to run it. Alright, so it's done. I run this thing. Okay, so the page pops up. If I click on privacy, you'll notice the route that's built up here. Localhost, random number, slash home, slash privacy, slash home is that folder I pointed to in the views. Privacy is the page. So based on that, I should be able to put desktops here and it load. And um, the problem is this isn't vanilla HTML. This is ASP MVC. So we have a model view controller. The views, the pages, the controller handles what happens with these pages. So what we need to do is for every page you add, you must have a controller. Since I'm in the home folder, I need to go to my home controller and edit this. So if we look at this page or this file, we see I've got public I action result index return view, public I action result privacy return view. For every page I have, I need to have one of these, at least one of these. Um, later on, you see I've got some annotations I can put in here that will change this, so I might have two or three of these pages in here. So I'm going to copy one. I'm going to call it desktops. I'm going to do the same thing, call it laptops. Let's see if this solves my problem. So again, click on privacy and make that say desktops. 
There we go. Okay, so now we need the links here. It's stupid to have to type that. Nobody's going to do that. You know, you know the mantra, don't make me think. So to add the, the menu items in there, I go to the layouts. I'm going to hide this for moments. Embedded inside of your layout is a bootstrap menu. Now, bootstrap changes over time and... ASP will change over time and sometimes it'll put in a different menu. But look for the links. So I want one that goes to desktops and laptops. So I'm going to copy. Oops, I didn't copy. Paste it in there. I'm going to leave my controllers home. That's fine. Um, index is the page I'm going to go to. And I'll put something click on here. Notice this isn't your typical href. It uses the bootstrappy class of Navlink, and I've got this set up to be dark. Um, ASP controllers home, ASP action, desktops, desktops. There's no href. You can use those. I'm going to come down here and look at the footer. We see ahrefs down here. But this is just a link to a page. This is called navigating through routes. Uh, you have an entire section of routes in your class. I'm going to do this again for laptops. Make sure you get everything spelled right. Run it. There they are. Desktops, laptops. Awesome. All right, so now you have to add views to an MVC page. Going forward in the next video, I'm going to demonstrate how to pass information into our desktops and laptops page from the controller. Thank you. Good luck.